Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at SH Figuarts Zarbone from Dragon Ball Z. Very, very cool that we're getting new villain characters. Um, such a great time to be a collector. Anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And that's not wasting any more time and bust this thing open and see how we got. Looking really, really cool. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking really good. And let's check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and my first impression on this figure is actually pretty good. Um, he feels really good to play with, um, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. Um, the only problem I have with it is just the cape. Um, even though I already know it's a plastic cape, I kind of wish we could remove this safely, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know how. But yeah, for the most part, he looks really good. Um, even though the paint job is a little bit light, um, there's no shading or whatever like the good old days. But yeah, um, it is what it is, and I think he looks really good. Looks like he walk out straight on the anime. Very, very refreshing. Um, always nice to get villain characters. And yeah, um, let's jump straight into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much. You can tell this has side to side, no problem. And the ponytail is just on a ball joint. Um, it is interchangeable. And for the hinge over here for the shoulder pad, um, it's just a regular hinge. And we do have a little bit of butterfly action over here. It raises arm up about this much, which is really good. Ball joint, bicep swivel, can curl about this much, and you do get the ball wrist. Really good. And for the cape, um, like I mentioned earlier, it's just a hinge, so it is a little bit annoying. And ab crunch can bend forward about this much, which is quite a lot. Um, have some really good side to side movement, but you gotta watch out for paint chipping over here. Um, that's really common for Dragon Ball figures. And we do have the 2.0 hip. Um, he can kick out about this high, bend about this much, thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, overall, it feels really good. Again, just the problem with the cape. And let's check out the accessories. And next up, we get a face that looks a little bit more serious. And then we get a teeth greeting angry face. And I feel like they are getting better and better at capturing these um, iconic moments. Um, very, very cool. And the last one we got is a shouting face. And it looks really good as well. And for all the interchangeable faces, we are able to take off the ear and um, put on the scouter, which is really cool. And I think there's some little details on the scouter too. Um, I haven't watched this part of the Dragon Ball for a very long time, so I don't really know. And I just got a wrong hair piece. I'll show you guys later then. And there you go. Um, looking really, really good with the scouter. And we also have the interchangeable ponytail. This is really, really nice. I like it. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of relaxed open hands. And these are always nice to have. And then we get a pair of key blasting hands. And lastly, we have one right hand for um, maybe holding the Dragon Ball, I'm not too sure. Um, it can also be like a key blasting, but we do have the two-star Dragon Ball over here. Um, very cool. And yeah, I believe that's everything, and let's check out some action posing. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts, and of course they look amazing together. And they did announce on social media that they're making two more characters from the Namek arc. Personally, I think Vegeta is coming for sure, and other than that, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe the second form of Frieza. That one is probably my favorite, because that one's like really tall and everything. Um, the third form of Frieza looks kind of weird to me, and the Goon, I'm not really sure if I need it. And um, I forgot the name of the guy that... Um, that looks like Piccolo, right? The, the another Namek guy. But anyways, um, let me know in the comments on what you think. But I think it's Vegeta and second form Frieza. And next up, we have some Jujutsu Kaisen SH Fig Arts and Itachi and Krillin. And then we have some Mayfax figure and the SH Fig Arts Doctor Strange. And lastly, we have some Figma figures and the amazing Yamaguchi Archive Knight. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. 
All right, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is really good, and I do highly recommend it. Uh, he does come with a lot of stuff. The only problem I have with this figure is just the cape, but other than that, he's going to be a really good display piece, and um, very, very fun to post with. The articulation is really good. And yeah, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think, and I wouldn't mind getting the monster version of him. So, yeah, and this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.